Hi everyone, um, I'm Pooja Nancy. I'm a poet uh, based in Singapore uh, and I'm also the current festival director of the Singapore Writers Festival. Uh, I want to thank the Goethe Institute who have asked me to read from my favorite German book. I don't speak German, unfortunately, and I can't read it except in translation. Um, so one of my tasks is also to pronounce the title of my chosen book in German, which I think uh, I'm uh, gonna skip that because we don't need to be butchering a whole language. So um, I think it's better if you read the title in the captions. Um, but the book I have picked is uh, Letters to a Young Poet by Rainer Maria Rilke, who was an Austrian poet um, who wrote in German. Um, and I love him because he's lyrical and just uh, has all this beautiful advice in this book, which is a series of correspondence between him and a very young aspiring writer who wrote to him between um, the years 1902 and 1908, whose name was um, Franz Zewe Kapus. So um, this was published um, by Kapus when uh, Rilke died. Um, and it just contains all this just very beautiful advice about um, you know, just being comfortable with your sorrow and your solitude and knowing that like difficult things are here to teach you. So it's always brought me comfort and I'm going to read um, one of my favorite extracts and I hope you enjoy it too. We have no cause to be mistrustful of our world for it is not against us. If it has terrors, they are our terrors. If it has abysses, those abysses belong to us. If dangers are there, we must strive to love them. And if only we regulate our life according to that principle, which advises us always to hold to the difficult, what even now appears most alien to us will become most familiar and loyal. How could we forget those old myths which are to be found in the beginnings of every people? The myths of the dragons, which are transformed at the last moment into princesses. Perhaps all the dragons of our lives are princesses who are only waiting to see us once beautiful and brave. Perhaps everything terrifying is at its bottom, the helplessness that seeks our help. So you must not be frightened, dear Herr Kapus, when a sorrow rises up before you, greater than you have ever seen before, when a restlessness like light and cloud shadows passes over your hands and over all your doing. You must think that something is happening upon you, that life has not forgotten you, that it holds you in its hand. It will not let you fall. Why do you want to exclude any disturbance, any pain, any melancholy from your life, since you do not know what these conditions are working upon you? Why do you want to plague yourself with the question where it has all come from and whither it is tending? Since you know that you are in a straight state of transition and would wish nothing so dearly as to transform yourself. If something in your proceedings is diseased, do reflect that disease is the means by which an organism rids itself of a foreign body. You must then simply help it to be ill, to have its full disease and to let it break out, for that is its development. So I just thought that was um, an apt sentiment in the middle uh, of a pandemic. Um, and maybe all of this is sent to teach us to be better on the other side. So I hope you enjoyed that. And um, I deeply recommend this book. And I hope you all stay safe and um, see you on the other side.